and seek my face. We are not asking for anything, no. We are saying, Father, more of you. Because we know that there are dimensions of you that our generation has not seen. I said, there are dimensions of God that our generation has not seen. Certain generations saw things that our generation has not, what? Has not seen. There are dimensions of God our generation has not seen. So when we are seeking the face of God, we are saying, Father, there are dimensions we need to see. We don't want anything from you. Show yourself to us in a magnificent way. Hallelujah. Reveal yourself to us more and more. That is, that we are just seeking the face of God. Hallelujah. Not our interest. Father, it is all about you. Father, it is all about you. I want to know you more. Show yourself more in my life. Show your glory in our lives. Even in the mighty name of Jesus. Use me to be a reflection of your image to my generation. That is all you are doing, what you are praying. So you can be in the house. And all your prayer is that, Father, I seek you. Your will and not mine. Your will and not mine. And that is the prayer you are praying. You are not praying for bread. You are not praying for butter. You are not praying for kinky. All you are doing is that you are doing what? You are seeking the face of God. Hallelujah. Why? Because God is looking for men. He is looking for women who are after his heart. He is not looking for church goers. He is not looking for people who are coming to fill seats. He is looking for people who are after his very heart. Who are after his very agenda for this earth. Hallelujah. And if he can find such a man, he will do mighty things with the person. If he can find such a woman, he will do mighty things with the person. Amen. He said, I sought for a man and I found him. May God find you. I said, may God find you. Seek his face. Gather people. Come, let's pray. What are we praying about? Father, we want to see you more. In the lives of everybody, we want to see you more. Are you hearing me? These things I'm saying, don't throw it away. Hallelujah. I said, don't do what? Don't pray. Victoria, are you hearing me? Don't throw it away. Rise up. Amen. This word is for you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Whoever is sharing me, this word is what? It's for you. Jessica, rise up. Ruth. Rise up. Mary, rise up. Seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. The wicked ways that they are playing to be men. We know what God expects of us. We don't do it. Somebody can look at God and come and give God one seed. It's also a wicked way. And that is not wicked. It is wicked. How do you give egg two cities and give God? Egg is what? Three cities. And give God one seed. Is that not wickedness? Praise God. You can look at God's face and laugh. You can look at God's face and do all manner of things. Praise God. The very fact that you are stubborn, disobedient to the word of God, means that you are what? You are evil. You are doing evil in his sight. Amen. Oh, praise God. He said we must turn from what? Our wicked ways. Can I tell you another way where we are being wicked towards God? How many of you got flyers last week? What is the result of the flyer? What happened to the, to the servant? The man gave five talents and he gave what? Three. And he gave what? Two. And he gave one. The one who came with nothing. What did he say? He said, you wicked and what? Unprofitable servant. Hallelujah. Are you understanding what I'm trying to say? It is wickedness. Look, look at some of the is wickedness. If it is birthday party, you will find a way of taking the person. If it is your funeral, you will find a way of taking the person. I even know people who took people from church. They should come to church. Amen. Took them to a region outside of Ghana. They found ways to take the people. Amen. I'm sure they even paid their lawyer fare and food and accommodation. And if we can't knock them on the way, only God knows when they say it was a church member. We don't know that the people were living in rebellion. Amen. Oh, praise God. You find a way, praise God. You become profitable. Some of you can take people to hotel for one week. Amen. Oh, praise God. Profitability in the kingdom is missing. Tell somebody it is wickedness. You shake the person, tell the person it is wickedness. You are supposed to be profitable in the kingdom. Praise the Lord. Anyone who belongs to the kingdom and is not profitable is simply what? Okay. If you can't get it, I don't know what you will get. Like, if you are waking up and you are coming to church and nothing tells you that, look, carry this person, carry this person, call this person, alone, compel this person to follow you, it means that you have come to the place in your mind where you have become comfortable with wickedness. Amen. And I'm not talking about an unbeliever. Because, see, some of you think wickedness is that you are going to take a gun and shoot somebody. No. In the kingdom, this is wickedness. The kingdom definition of wickedness is unprofitability hallelujah oh praise god are you hearing me somebody very very critical but we have become comfortable with it amen may god revive you hallelujah i said may god revive you and take you from that mindset amen so that he puts in you that mindset when you are going and you don't even have people with you something is wrong you don't feel comfortable within you anymore hallelujah please are you, are, are you hearing what i'm saying and i think i'll keep on preaching this until we get it hallelujah do you know when i will know you got it when you are coming and i see you coming with somebody amen are you understanding me 
I, somebody did the research that 70% of people in church come because of family and friends. Amen. 70%. Hallelujah. How many? It's just 5% that comes out of evangelism. Hallelujah. And praise God. So that if you are coming for a service today, I'm expecting your family and I'm expecting what? If, you, if they are not coming, it means that you have become comfortable with what? And he says that if you are able to turn from this thing, that is when you do it. You will heal the land and answer our prayers. That is when you will heal the land and what? And answer our prayers. And some of us have fasted, but we are still wicked. Amen. You have prayed, but you are still what? Wicked. You have humbled yourself, but you are still what? Wicked. Pastor, I'm not wicked. You are wicked. You don't get it. You are. The reason you are wicked is that you are still not profitable to what? You don't feel them. Oh, praise God. Can I show you a funny word calculating profit to the family? How much are you taking on the chair? Please, if they hire this chair, how much is it? Hire one chair. It's how much? One city to hire a chair. Okay. The air you are enjoying is electricity, right? Okay. If you go and hire sound equipment, speaker, those things, how much is it? Are you getting what I'm trying to do? Now, all these things are done and they are presented to you in the first place. And then your contribution in the kingdom, when we subtract it, who is cheating you? Huh? Please, are you understanding me? That is a funny way of calculating what your profit in the kingdom because your first profit is to be able to what to bring people to church amen your second profit is to what is to contribute towards what towards the work of god amen are you understanding me and look, some of you are owing you are owing god though. and you say god is not doing much for you hallelujah you know what they've <laughs> they have over they've given you overdraft hello please are you understand what i'm saying some of you are in debt in the kingdom you are in debt when we calculate your balance sheet in the kingdom you are aware you are in debt so the more blessings they give you it is just depth we are planning. You have not yet entered into the world, into the green room. Is this serious? Yeah, it's serious. Let somebody wake up.